Okay, Bree, this is, uh, I don't know, maybe a 12, maybe a 10. You're getting tall here. The run is pretty good. Right on top of that step, and that's when we're in the last few strides. We want to see you running tall. The contact's underneath the hips, and we're losing some of your feet here, but that looks like your second to last. That looks long. For some reason, you definitely are stretching out there. We never want to see that thing almost extend fully. We want to see that controlled a lot more. And you can see you hit the heel first. That should be flat. So just keeping that a little closer is going to be the fix for that. Pretty good displacement, though. You spend some time on it and you move well. Off the board, you were in a position to drop that leg. I thought you were going to do it. And you just sort of leave it there. So we got to kick that stick. This is a nice tuck position. That's a really good pike. The problem, and one of the reasons this happens, is because without the leg dropping here, you tighten up the whole system. And when the system tightens up, it rotates faster. And when it rotates down far enough, you have to put the legs down Otherwise, you fall over it. So that's a very important thing because this is not how you want to be hitting the sand pulling out of a pike position. This is where you want to hit the sand in the peak of your pike position, but you've got to control the rotation to do that, and that comes from kicking the stick.